Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in New Haven, Connecticut, and this city is famous for two things, Yale University and some of the best pizza in the United States. Mm. Mm. So today we're gonna go on a pizza tour of New Haven, Connecticut. They have their own unique style. They have some unique ingredients and toppings that they use for pizza and unique methods and charring. The charring looks unbelievable. So I'm gonna be hanging out with some friends. Wow. And I cannot wait to share all of the pizza, everything with you coming up in this video. Jeffrey. Good morning, oh, you've got your pizza shirt on. That's Absolutely. the right shirt for the day. <laughs> oh, we're in for a treat. This is the best pizza. One of the great styles of the world. It's spelled a pizza, but it's pronounced a beats. A beats. Okay, so if you're a true New Havener, you say it a beats. And if you say a pizza, then everyone will know you're from somewhere else. <laughs> That's good to know. That's a real tip to know. Cheat day morning. Eat. Jessica, Tom Brian, Tom good pizza. morning. You guys ready for some pizza? Cheat yeah. day. Not lobster? <laughs> no lobster. Day. Good morning, Jean. Jeffrey Mary Hill. Good morning. How are you? Very good. You ready to eat some pizza I'm today? So ready some to eat a beats. Pizza. Sorry, a some a beats. The full pizza team is here today and we're beginning. Woohoo! So excited. You've heard of New York pizza, you've heard of Chicago pizza, but for the true connoisseurs of pizza, some say that New Haven is the ultimate pizzas of the United States, the best of the best. And so, I mean, that makes me even more excited. I, I mean, of course I've had New York pizza, I've had Chicago pizza, but this will be my first time to ever eat Connecticut New Haven pizza. To begin this pizza tour, we are starting off at Zupardi's Abitz, which I believe is not actually in New Haven, but we're in West Haven, which is just a little drive from New Haven, family owned and operated since 1934. This is a legendary pizza spot. Yeah. Rick, grab me a container of escrow. And then, Sean, I count on clamps for a large. So is this is this considered a thin crust? Yeah, the New it's Haven on the stuff? side, yeah, okay. they're the most, um, definitely generally what you're going to see around the country. There are, locally, some places that are going to be thinner, and yeah, we always stick the way my grandfather had done everything. The family, they're so nice, awesome, and they're inviting us into the kitchen. We're going to see as the pizzas are being made. They have a vacuum. Yeah, That's a vacuum. That is awesome. First time I've seen a a vacuum for a pizza oven. I yeah. love it. This way you don't get like black soot, but you still get the cornmeal at the bottom of your Look at that dough. That texture of that dough is incredible. really really tough um, sometimes you'll see like the people eat the hearts of it as a salad um, I, uh, I just can't leave the beans so escarole is a type of cabbage yeah it, okay. um, it actually grows in sand so you gotta really wash it so we'll wash, like, we have to clean everything down and wash it ah. in the sand like three or four times because like, the cell cool. Anthony made two different pizzas first and just starting off with that dough, you can see the softness of it and just the handle, how he handles it with care and experience. You guys make your own sausage too? Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple times a week. Our trimmings, it's just all pork butt. You know, process it down, cut it down into strips, grind it, season it. Of, uh, 
Pecorino Romano. Oh, okay. And uh, Knocking Town is great. It. And how long do those bake for? Uh, that front one will probably be about 14, 15 minutes. The front one will take a little bit less because it's smaller. All right. um, but that's why I made those first, because they're going to take longer. The, the sausage is going to take longer to cook. The clam will be out in like 10 minutes. And then the next up, he's going to start on their legendary clam pie. Okay. Is this the big one? This is yeah. the clam. You don't want moose on this, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, is that garlic that goes on first? Garlic, yeah. Nice. So these we just opened. Um, they're, they're local. Yeah. Uh, try to keep the bellies nice and whole so they're actually all clams. Nice. Is yeah. there a name for the local clams here? These are just little nice ones in this region. They're called this. You can find anything in the waters. Um, I like the little necks. Um, you see a lot of cherry stones and quahogs, but then they're too big. It's hard to eat, especially when they get into the quahogs, you know? Little necks. Yeah. I don't like to, to cut them at all, so like, this is the whole plan. Includes no cheese, so it's the dough. Then he added on some fresh garlic. A couple handfuls of fresh, juicy clams, local clams, go on. He garnished with a little bit of chopped parsley and then finally a sprinkle of olive oil, a squeeze of olive oil. That goes directly into the oven. I can't wait to try that. And I love the way that you treat that dough with so much respect. Like not, not over massaging it, not like overdoing it, just gentle, and that keeps the air within it too, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the more you work it, the more you're gonna, the harder it's gonna be to eat, the, harder, the tougher the chew. Ah, you're okay. really activating all the fluid. The whole point of okay. the rest is the fluid to relax. So you wanna keep preserving as much of that, that air as you possible want, yeah. and keep it. Exactly. Cool. Love it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Large and medium. This is what I'm Spacing for. skills. Ah. The Maillard reaction is just it's, it's okay. underway. It's not over the crisp. That's why I like it. This looks amazing. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> it looks perfect. And then clam's ready. Also, oh, clam takes a bit less time to yeah, cook. Yeah, it takes, there's, there's no, there's really nothing on it. Oh, man. It looks very, very I guess it's like a bread, yeah. Yeah. All oh, the juices. Yeah, that's why if you put, you put the boots on it, oh, God, I see the white cut. just cool on top instead ah. of being able to soak in and flavor it. Wow. All three pizzas are ready? I'm gonna sprint to the table. Thank you, Anthony. You're Thank, you. Thank you, guys. Wow. On top. Yeah, absolutely. And there wow. we go. Wow. Thank you. You got it. I've never been so excited to eat pizza in my life. Let's start with the white and move into the tomato, right? That makes the most sense. It's gotta start with the white, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. Are we doing it? Do you need any plates? The white clam. This crust is just unbelievable. And those, the juiciness, when he took it out of the oven, it was just boiling. The clam juices were boiling and there's no cheese on here. So look, that is not Neapolitan. No. Neapolitan will fold. Together, yes. Of Connecticut. ready? Oh my god. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Mm. Oh the garlic. Yeah, the garlic is the, the clams. Nice. The parsley. Like that dough is so airy. Mm hmm Really, really he, like, nice. He babies that dough. He takes care of it. Mm. And, and just the way he 
they proof it overnight compared to New York where they do fast proof. Mm. So that accounts for some of that crunchiness. I'm trying with Oh, lemon. it's incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some people like it with lemon. Some people like it without. Mm. Jess, can you lemon me? Mm. Mm. Thank you. That's so incredible. I actually, good. I think I prefer it with the lemon. I think it kind of brightens it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm a lemon. I'm I like lemon. Lover. I like lemon. Yeah. Sweet. I like lemon. It complements the clams a lot. Mm -hmm. That salty brininess. What's amazing about this pizza is that there's no tomato sauce, there's no cheese to cover up the flavor of the clams, so it really magnifies the flavor. It's like a, a crunchy, dough, gooey, crusty pizza, just focused on clams. So next up for the, what is it called? Escoleta? Escoleta, a type of braised cabbage, plus the house-made sausage that they've been making. And I love the way that he just like tore off pieces of the sausage. That spacing, talk about skills, evenly spacing out the ingredients on the pizza. And torn. Mm. 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 Ooh. Oh, I forgot this one is no tomato sauce either, right? Oh, it's awesome. That sausage. I'm gonna cap it with more sausage. Don't judge me. But it's so nice with the uh, braised escarole. It's mm -hmm. just a nice balance. That's what Anthony said when he was making this pizza. He he waits. He knows it's done when the on the peak of the sausage. You know, there's a little mallard reaction there. The cheese slightly caramelizing the iconic charred crust of Connecticut pizza, which is just outstanding. Has a beautiful crunch, and then where the cheese meets dough, has that gooeyness in it. Mm -hmm. hear it. I'll hit that with some, some chili flakes. And those are mushrooms and sausage. Mushroom sausage. This is the one that grandfather invented. Mm. This is so this one is yeah. the special. Oh, this okay. Is special. You've been waiting so patiently. You haven't eaten yet? I think what's also awesome, <laughs> all three of the peaches are just totally different, completely different flavors, from the tomato base to the to the escarole to the white clam. Mm. Totally unique identities of pizza. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think they all three complement each other. I don't think I could choose a favorite. I know. I like them all. Uh, really, mm -hmm. very, very I mean, definitely the, the, the white clam is the most unique to me. Mm -hmm. But this classic is unbelievable. Really it's classic. <laughs> it's just classic, yeah. That I love too. Mm -hmm. you use it some chili? I'm gonna do another clam. I don't blame you. This is not our first rodeo. Now that we've tried them all, I gotta have one more slice of the white clam. I'm just gonna go ahead and lemon it. A few chili flakes on there. Listen to that crunch. That is the most satisfying crust crunch. And look at the way that bubbles are within there. I don't have diet, I have regular. How is it, guys? Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Good? It's so good. The lemon taste just, it just balances it all, especially contrasting that brininess of the, the fresh clams. I sit there, I'll eat more. Yeah. Mm. The char right, of that crust, all the way from the, the outer edge, all the way to the interior, it's so perfectly crispy and gooey all at the same time. Who can blame me? <laughs> I just need one more. I'm gonna double hand it. Tell me when you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I gotta have one more slice before moving on to the next place. Okay. Let's go to Sally's. 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 Amazing pizza. I love how it's still family owned and operated. Incredibly friendly service. Um, just, this is a legendary historical restaurant. Your parties. Thank you so much. You are awesome. That's great. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. The parties. Thank you. 
That was incredible. The rain will not stop today, but that's not stopping us from eating pizza. Next up on this pizza tour of New Haven, we are at Frank Pepe. Since 1925, this is probably the most legendary, the most well-known. They invented so many things having to do with pizza, and I can't wait to try Frank Pepe. That is incredible, literally. The reason the kitchen has to be this size is because the paddles to fit into how, how long is that? 14 by 14. 14 by 14. It's like a cave, an oven cave, 14 feet long paddles. I mean, you could row a boat with that. They're so long and they just enable to maneuver the pizzas all the way to the back of the massive coal-fired oven. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is the fresh tomato, wow. one of the best. Already mixed with garlic, with basil and garlic. With garlic. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's huge. is the biggest pizza paddle I've ever seen in my life. Flaming coal ovens, 1200 degrees, but then the ovens are about 600 degrees when they're firing the pizzas. Look at how far the stick comes back. The paddle. That is gorgeous. Ho, 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 ho. Ah, okay, switch the parts. Three in a row. Oh, man. literally out of the oven, into a box or onto a tray and onto your table. No more than 10 seconds from the oven to your table. That's incredible. Wow, okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. Fresh tomato pie. Oh. <laughs> wow. So you and I are gonna take precedence here. Clam pie. Oh man. So <laughs> good. And so here it is. This is where this, they started it all. Frank Pepe's 1925. They invented the white clam pie, but oh man, they're gonna bring us out a fresh tomato pizza, a sausage pizza. That crust, that char on the crust is, it looks outstanding. <laughs> wow. I might even get Legend. a bite. <laughs> Grab a piece. All right, my last bite. Get, take one tour. piece to go. This is the <laughs> clam pie invented at Pepe's. What a way to end the trip. Love you guys. Mm. Oh. Garlic. Mm. Jeez. Ooh, white clam. So white oh. clam, garlic, oregano. They invented the white clam pie. Should we do one last uh, nod? We shall. Side? Sideways, ready? Go. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that crushed. The garlic, yeah. So much garlic. I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I just get a, oh, you gonna eat that? Have a piece. Wow, that crushed. Yeah. The yeah. chewiness really of their good. dough. It's really chewy. Yeah. Oh, you like the garlic? Nice. So it's just Parmesan on top, but yeah, I love the way the Parmesan is just caramelized onto the top. Again, the flavor of those fresh clams, the fresh garlic, the chewy crust. But, oh. When you get to ends of the crust though, it's like a cracker, still crispy. It's so smoky. Yeah, so this is a seasonal when the tomatoes are in season. Look, you just have to admire this. I don't know how This crust. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Wow. The bottom. That's what you want in a New Haven style. Fresh tomatoes, basil, mozzarella, fold. You even got like a little bit of charcoaliness. It just, oh it just bursts with tomato <laughs> juiciness and basil. It's not too thin, but it's a, it is a nice balance of gooiness, chewiness, and crispiness all at the same time. And the bottom is still crunchy, but then you get like, the, I think like the tomato's juice is actually like soaking into a little bit of the crust in the middle and making it soft. Gooey. Like, the gooey <laughs> yeah. where, the, where the toppings meet crust. That crust is also world heritage. Like, that would look burnt at first, but it's not. It tastes perfect. You're right. It literally is burnt, but it tastes so good, and it works. Not even close. Mm -mm. They're, they're stretching the, the lines of what you know is burned and not, and it works, and it's so flavorful. That's an amazing pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. Oh, uh -huh. You want to grab it? Over. Oh, Next it. pizza. We got, it. we got it. We got it. And then the last pizza that we're trying here is they, they yeah, call it mozzarella, right? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. The plain mozzarella with sausage. But it also looks like, no, that's all sausage, right? That's all sausage? Or is there pepperoni on it too? An unbelievable burned char. It's not burned. That char around the outside. It's literally cracker, cracker crunchy. It's so. There's so much tomato on it that the cheese has turned orange. It looks <laughs> dangerously tasty. Look at that. It's a literal mosaic of pizza toppings from the front to the back. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That crust. Mm -hmm. I want to say that crust. And it was a cheesy, hard cheese. Hard, hard yeah. cheese. You cannot say charred enough. Mm. I think what stands out to me at Frank Pepe's is the the chewiness. Yeah. Along with being charred and crispy, the dough is so and the chewy. Ingredients too. Like in a beautiful, it bounces back on your teeth. But you got to go for that the back. The back where the the cheese has boiled onto the mm -hmm. onto the crust. Their tomato sauce is more sweet than tart here. Oh man, the, the ingredients are so fresh and so salty to perfection. The top, that's mm. like, we don't have as much char. Unlike any pizza I've had anywhere else. <laughs> perfection since 1925. A crowd that big always tells you something. It wraps around the building. The popularity, the legend, just insanely good pizza. One of the best in the world without a doubt. Frank Pepe, remarkable pizza. And just that technique, the paddle, the coal fire, the char.
And then finally, lastly, on this tour of New Haven Abitz Pizza, we are going to a place that's very locally popular. It's called Modern Abitz, and they're known again for their clam pie, and we'll probably get one more. Okay, here we go. We got a booth. A little bit yellow in here. Modern Abitz. Since 1934, they've been in the same exact location serving New Haven pizza. We ordered the white clam and a sausage pie. Very right, nice. You Thank you very much. Wow. You're welcome. Can I get you anything else? That's good. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Hot and fresh out of the oven, two pizzas. They look just incredible. Got the white clam pizza. I love how they serve some lemon wedges on top and then got the sausage pizza. Look at that char, that shape, the bubbliness, the melted cheese. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna start with the white clam. I'm gonna, okay, I'll squeeze lime after tasting it first, but look at that crust, look at that char. Look at the back end of that. Oh, it's so thin roasted on the bottom. The clams, the cheese. It's more heavy on the cheese. There's clams, um, there's that sprinkle of oregano. Oh, wow. Immediately you taste the burst of those clams, that brininess, that clam flavor. The cheese, even though it's a thick layer of cheese, it's not overpowering. It goes so well to that, with that like impressively thin crust and so crispy and so smoky. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a squeeze of lemon. Oh yeah, with a lemon that even brings out the flavor. That complements the clam so well. This one is heavier on the cheese, so good. Mm. Okay, and next up for the sausage. That is a beautiful pizza. You can just see the, the juiciness of it contrasted with the char and the crispiness. Oh, big, huge chunks of sausage. Oh, oh wow. Now that's a char. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, that ultra thin crust, that smokiness, that sausage, you taste the, I think the fennel in that sausage, the herb, the vibrancy of the tomato sauce and just like a, a blanket of cheese. And yet it's not, it doesn't feel greasy. It's incredible, the abits. Totally different, total different flavors, but so complimenting, so incredibly tasty. And the clam, it is amazing and unique. But I think that's straight up tomato, Mozza, mozzarella, and sausage. That's the pizza for me. And I, I do love how it's so thin. Not too filling, but so much flavor. Again, absolutely amazing pizza in New Haven. I'm really starting to get the attractiveness, the extra layer of flavor with that New Haven char. And so that's gonna complete wrap up this tour, this pizza tour, a beats, the a beats tour of New Haven, Connecticut. Without a doubt, this is a pizza paradise. One of the best places, again, as I said at the beginning of this video, when you think about pizza in the United States, you typically, I mean, 
for, for me, as someone who's not that experienced with pizza, I would think New York and Chicago. But New Haven is truly one of the ultimate and legendary pizza capitals of the United States. And without a doubt, I can safely say that it's some of the best pizza I've had anywhere in my life. And then thinking about the places that we ate pizza in New Haven, although they were similar in their New Haven style with typically thin crust, with that char is very characteristic of New Haven, each place had its own unique identity, a slight alteration, a slight difference that was really noticeable, remarkable pizza Abitz creations. I can tell you for sure that I am a fan of Abitz for life. I'll have all the places that we went in the description box below. Thank you to all of the owners. Thank you to all of the pizza places that we went for taking such great care of us, for the friendliness and for showing us the history of this amazing pizza destination. Also, I wanted to say a big shout out to Colin. He runs Taste of New Haven. He does pizza tours. He does food tours in New Haven. And he got us uh, reservations at a couple of the pizza restaurants. Thank you, Colin. And thank you very much for watching this entire pizza tour. And there's gonna be more videos, food videos in New Haven. And so be sure to watch those as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food videos. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from New Haven, Connecticut. I will see you on the next video.